Hi everybody, um, welcome to my second presentation, um, my individual presentation um, on our brand, Her. Um, when thinking about Her and how we created the brand, we looked at, we looked at different cons considerations. Um, we wanted um, a name to be fun, bright, very girly, very elegant. Um, so we looked at intimate, vagina love, just very positive um, meanings. And also we think that um, colors create a personality for a brand. Um, so that we took that into consideration as well. Um, so we thought about having light and colorful um, colors, but also very elegant. Hence why we did the very chic um, orange, um, grapefruit kind of vibe. The pros of having her is that it really prevents and it and it's very a natural um, ingredient that we use to prevent vaginismus. Um, and also there's not a lot of products that is our kind. Um, um, the cons of this is that it's it different bodies have different experiences to certain things. So we do take that into consideration when creating vagin um when create her. Um, we also looked at the unique selling points for different um, sections of her and how we can make our brand as unique as possible. Um, so this includes having no artificial colors and having it fragrance free so there's no irritation to the sensitive area. We also target women from all ages from the older generation to the younger generation. We want to make sure that our brand is accessible to as many women as we can, um, which I think is very important. Um, a con, uh, which we are still tackling till this day and many brands are facing, is um, not, not being accessible to all women in the world. And this is because of distribution, um, you know, causes, it can be tariff issues, um, depending on the increases of tariffs, um, you know, countries like um, North Korea have um, significant issues when it comes to this um, terms. Um, we also looked at um, research, we looked at surveys, um, and we did the surveys to a, a few women to find out about their sexual health and their um, issues with vaginismus and if they are aware about this condition. So as we can see, question five, how many times have you been to a gyne gynecologist? Um, and as you can see, we can see 69.7% of that people has been either one time or zero times, which also gives us a good understanding of how um, this issue of vaginismus is not talked about. Um, Question two, do you know anything about vaginismus? We can see 59.5% um, uh, of people did know about this um, issue, which is a great number to hear, um, as we want more women to understand their own bodies. Um, we also wanted to look at competitor analysis, so we can see um, for price, region, and location, um, for price, we can see they're all between five to um, fifteen dollars, twenty dollars, which is quite nice. So we're able to uh, have our price ranges a bit more around that area. The region are all global. Um, we we can see Femfresh is UK based, um, and location is like pharmacy and beauty drug stores, which we want to do as well. Um, here's our all our ingredients. We have. Um, liquid paraffin, um, bacterial substance, um, and many other natural ingredients that we put into our product. Um, when it comes to the brand positioning map, we are able to see um, how we can fit our brand into this. And through this, we're able to consider what factors are important. For example, we can see if we can be affordable, if we can be effective, if we are going to be overpriced, um, are we going to be ineffective? Obviously that is not the case, but it's nice to put that in there and compare to other brands, hence why we've done this. Um, 
We also look at our target audience. So with this, we look at a person's personality and what kind of person will use this. So as a team, we've discussed and decided um, this would mainly suit for females who are aged from 20 to to 35 who lives in the UK or the United States, who is very ongoing about organic and vegan foods. They're impulsive, spontaneous. They love going on social media. They love doing creative arts and have a good um, career. They love drinking a cup of tea, juices, and smoothies. So most things like that are very important to consider and creating a personality really brings our brand together. Um, when it comes to creative strategy, when it comes to creative stra strategy behind a social media launch, we always consider the fact that we want to promote as much as we can through various age groups, through social media sites like Facebook, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. This is because these are the most used social media platforms in the world right now, especially for the women around our age, which is again from 20 to 35 year olds. Um, over the years, we can see both Instagram and TikTok has been growing and um, is very open to new topics every single day and we are able to import vaginismus into this as well um, to create more awareness about this certain issue. Also we believe as a team and me um, that Instagram has evolved into a more specific, sophisticated marketing platform which many many and millions um, of um, brands have used. Um, we are able to communicate our product in more engaging ways and also reach a larger audience. We think this is very important because now these days, marketing is done through social media, especially through TikTok, as that is growing at it in a fast rate. Um, this is during this is because during COVID, this was the only thing that most younger people did was create TikTok and. Um, it just boosted and we want to be a part of that um and i really hope we are able to um continue with this research and really see where we can go with this um but thank you very much for listening and um i have also included my um swot analysis in this presentation um so i i've got I've got this on this presentation so thank you very much and um, hopefully this has been very um, enlightening for you thank you so much